Transformers Rise of the Beast releases into theaters on June 9th of this year, and with the anticipation of this new film, we're going to be showing you all of the behind the scenes moments, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What year did the original Transformers film release? Leave your answers in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Action! Get the director laughing. We do our own stunts Cracking around here. Right, number know, one, lock up the alley right. now, please. Right. Lock up this the alley, guys. This is Cusco Elevation right now. Anticipation for this film is actually at an all-time high already, so much so that people are already making predictions at how much the film will make the first weekend, with 60 to 70 million estimated. We do have a few new cast members such as Liza Koshy, Peter Cullen, and Anthony Ramos. tell you how old it gets. We actually did get to see a glimpse of the behind the scenes of meeting the characters and hearing from the cast when they had to do their voice work. The story takes place in the 90s, and so we worked really hard to capture that era. Everything from the type of music we're playing, the clothes that Noah and Elena are wearing. And when it came to casting, Anthony Ramos and Dominique Fishback were both from Brooklyn. They brought their own authentic Brooklynite attitude that just really pops on screen. Who are you, human? I'm nobody. I, I ain't even seeing nothing. I, I mean, I'm not even seeing anything right now. The film will incorporate themes and characters from the 1996 TV series Beast Wars Transformers, which made the movie's lead, Anthony Ramos, all the more excited. <laughs> I do believe he, he would check, yeah. Here, like, you know, regardless if he takes him out. Yeah. It's still like, you so, know what I mean? Yeah, but that's about like, huh? that's about care about you. Beast Wars was my joint. That was the one for me. I was in front of the TV every week watching Beast Wars, Ramos said during a virtual press conference. So when I read the script, I saw we were going to have them in the movie. I was really excited. And even with as many films as there have been with this franchise, seven total, it's no surprise that more have already been announced. Paramount has already confirmed that Transformers 8 is in the works as part of a new trilogy that Transformers Rise of the Beasts will kick off. I just found out that aliens are real and almost died like six times. Stupid question. Stupid question. I think it's one of 
But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Details on the 8th movie are incredibly scarce at the moment. It is not confirmed if Stephen Capel Jr. will return to direct the film, or if Ramos and Fishback's characters will return. However, both of these options seem likely given the early confirmation on the studio's part that Transformers 8 is happening. some sort of opening to a cave in. Wait, did you just call me Sonic? I think there's a, a temple. When it comes to a movie like this, there's a lot that must go into it. The cars and the CGI effects and having the car transform right after being in car form. And in these behind the scenes moments, we not only get to see that, but the action within when it came to the training sessions and stunts. In stories like this, or even with any story, the audience must be able to care for the robots, just as much as the human characters, and the relationship between the two, understanding why both are needed within the story, and we get to hear from the cast members as to why this is so important. Knowing Mirage, their, their friendship develops uh, over time because I think Noah sees, you know, Mirage knows that there's this need. They begin to build this trust with each other, you know, and, and they have, they, they're like this kindred spirit, you know, where, where Mirage is kind of the outcast of the guys and Noah has felt like that in his own life. And, and sometimes you can notice in certain movies where the car chase scenes might not be as real as you might think because they were shot with a green screen, but with this film, when it really does matter, the chase scenes are actually real. Stephen Capel Jr. is the director of this film and set out to make Rise of the Beasts a different look and feel by choosing epic locations that reflect the size and scope of the story he's telling. Car! Yes! My car. Okay. One of those locations is one of the most gorgeous places on Earth, Machu Picchu, Peru, where the stunning visuals were only matched by the challenges moving part of the production they're presented. Slowly comes back up. Not you. She takes off. That's pretty. The story takes place in the 90s, so production was hard at work to capture that era and time, from the music to the clothes Noah and Elena were wearing. And I but lands! And she starts walking towards the stone. <laughs> And interestingly enough, the director for this project had worked on Creed 2, and he used his experience on that film to help him coordinate the fight sequences for this film. Yeah. 
And as far as he answered to our trivia question, it was in 2007 when the first Transformers film starring Megan Fox and Shia LaBeouf came out. <laughs> So what do you guys think about all these moments? Which one was your favorite and what are you most hoping for this film? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys.